liturgically speaking. Today we begin with the familiar words of the centurion, a non-Jew, in fact, a Roman, an oppressor. Interesting, isn't it, that we pray these words every time we attend Mass. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Although he held a position of power in Roman political structure, he was a complete outsider to the children of Abraham. And yet, he knew only Jesus had the power to make his servant whole. And for his humility and his faith, it was done for him. His faith was so great that he didn't require Jesus to come and lay hands on his servant, possibly even recognizing that under Jewish law, that would make Jesus unclean in his own community. Only say the word. Father Richard Rohr considers Jesus' care for outsiders a central point of the Bible and writes, Why does the Bible and why does Jesus tell us to care for the poor and the outsider? It is because we all need to stand in that position for our own conversion. We each need to stand under the mercy of God, the forgiveness of God, and the grace of God to understand the very nature of reality. When we are too smug and content, then grace and mercy has no meaning, and God has no meaning. Forgiveness is not even desired. When we have pulled ourselves up by our own bootstraps, religion is always corrupted because it doesn't understand the mystery of how divine life is transferred, how people change, and how life flows. It has been said by others that religion is largely filled with people who are afraid of hell, while spirituality is for people who have been through hell. Jesus is always on the side of the crucified ones. He is not loyal to any one religion, this or that group, or the so-called worthy ones. Jesus is loyal to suffering itself, wherever it is. He is just as loyal to the suffering of Iraqis or Afghans as he is to the suffering of Americans. He is just as loyal to an oppressed gay woman as he is to an oppressed married woman. We do not like that. He grabs all of our self-created boundaries away from us, and suddenly all we have is to free fall into the arms of God, who is our only and solid security. This seems to be God's very surprising agenda, if I am to believe the Bible. Today, let us take a moment and reflect on whether or not we're willing to become an outsider, to truly convert our hearts to the message Jesus has for us. 